All right, it's card of the day, and this is card number 129, titled, May the Force be with you. So let's learn more about the history of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Obi-Wan Kenobi would travel with Qui-Gon Jinn to Ilum to make his first lightsaber. While there, Jinn and Kenobi were sent to Ord Sagat to investigate the disappearance of a Republic refinery ship. After noticing the low attitudes that no one had any weapons except for guards, Kenobi met the Basilisk Dexter Jester who was selling weapons to the people of Ord Sagat. Jester was told to wait for Kenobi as a fight had broken out between a boy who threw a rock at a guard. The Jedi jumped in and sliced the guard's weapons before returning to Jester, who commented on how a lightsaber could stand for danger and for hope. Jester and Kenobi would soon become friends. Jin soon came back with information that a senator from Dinan Ardru Mutual had sent a small army to put a monopoly on the mining business there. Obi-Wan fought alongside his master in the Stark Hyperspace War, one of the last of the many small-scale conflicts that plagued the Galactic Republic in its final days. It was during the Fourth Battle of Quatile when Kenobi's enduring friendship with fellow Padawan Quinlan Vos truly began. Kenobi would later recall fondly a training mission the two Padawans undertook on Ragoon 6 and missions the both of them would undertake with Dexter Jetster on the Outer Rim. When Kenobi was nearly 14 years old, he and Jen traveled to a planet once devastated by turmoil and currently under a temporary truce. The rulers of each planet temporarily exchanged children when they reached the age of seven and raised them in an effort to get the future leaders to appreciate each other. The plan backfired after hundreds of years of success, however, when the heir of Rutan decided he wanted to remain on Sanali, forsaking his royal title and home planet. This infuriated his father, King Frayn, who believed his son had been brainwashed by the Sanali, and he threatened to declare war on Sanali. Kenobi and Jin arrived to mediate the dispute, and after meeting with King Frayn, they went to the ocean world of Sanali and attempted to convince Lead to return to Rutan, thus avoiding war. That's it for now. More information on the next Obi-Wan Kenobi card. And now for the back side of the card, and it's a puzzle piece for the Tusken Raider. Well, that's card of the day. Look out for the next card. Thank you for watching Star Wars Obsessed Card of the Day. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You could also follow Star Wars Obsessed on Instagram and Facebook.